Hi, right, welcome back everybody. I'm going to do a voiceover for this video because I was breathing in the microphone. Uh, yeah, that didn't sound good. But anyways, right here we got a, a radio that's out of a 2004 Ford uh, pickup truck. And we're going to crack it open and get these CDs out. Now, uh, of course, I've never opened this uh, radio up before, so I'm going to be taking out screws that don't have to be taken out to get the CDs out. But what we're going to do is pull that CD changer out and pretty much massacre this thing. <laughs> uh, all these screws are torque head, so I got a torque head screwdriver. I couldn't tell you what the size of the screwdriver is. Uh, you know, it looks like to be a, it's a T8. Uh, I'm removing the brackets right now. It's just to get them out of the way. And I didn't even have to take the screws out for the front piece of it, but you know, didn't know if we needed to take the front part of the CD player off or not, so just might as well take them off. <laughs> yeah. Here is the other bracket. This is the brackets that hold it in into the dashboard. Generally keep all these screws just in case you need a screw for something. Here we're looking for the rest of the screws. And I think there's some, yeah, there's some in the back we gotta take out. Now, there was an electrical problem with this radio. It stayed on all the time, and it got hot inside the dash, so we just went ahead and removed it. A lot of times, it's a lot cheaper to replace a radio than it is just to go ahead and repair them. So. Since uh, my mom wanted these CDs out, we just went ahead and just ended up tearing the CD changer up, getting the CDs out. Oh, it took a little bit more time with it. I probably could have taken it all apart and got the CDs out without breaking the CD changer. But, you know, got to work today. Wanted to go ahead and get it done. <laughs> Now it's got little control arms that lock in place to hold the CDs there in place. And I'm trying to figure out how to get them to stay put while I get the CD out. And there's a little B uh, piece of metal that lips inside the inside of the CD. I ended up pin, bending that back later on in the video to get the CDs out. And I just had a little lock arm in, in there with that uh, piece of me that metal pin or that metal uh, bracket. It's about this point uh, so I didn't need to get this uh, CD changer out of the radio to get it get anything done for any further those little screws in there sometimes they put a little bit of loctite on them and you end up gripping more screwdrivers than you do trying to get the screws out i guess another little kit that you usually use on cell phones but i didn't bring it with me or I would have went ahead and took it apart with that. I 
I used to. I used to work on radios and stuff uh, back in middle school. And a lot of times, it, it was tape decks then. Yeah. A lot of times, the uh, rubber bands get worn out in it. Uh, between the motor and the gears, and a lot of times you just replace the rubber band or the belt, and the uh, radio worked just fine after that. <laughs> or the heads needed to be cleaned or something like that. Usually didn't take very long to fix those. Every once in a while you get a little mechanical problem or, you know, pretty easy to fix. You just have to look at all the mechanics works, or the mechanical works on it. Uh, somebody brought a VCR one in one time. They couldn't get it to work, and I got to looking around. There was a Crayola crown in there. <laughs> that was an easy fix. I pulled out the crown and put it back together. It worked just fine. Here we go, we got the CD changer out. Now you're going to see me fondle with it, fiddle with it for a little bit, but we get all them CDs out. The little slide bar that just look at it, it's locked up. There's a mechanical pin in there somewhere where it releases where you can move that slide and you probably could release those uh, CDs that way. Now I've tried real hard to get those screws out but they got that Loctite on them. You can't get those things out without stripping your screwdriver sometimes. trying to push those bars back, those arms back. I end up shoving them in there to get them out of the way. Here I'm trying to manually move those arms out of the way, but all the mechanicals seized up because I don't know where the pin is. I knocked all my screws over. <laughs> it's all right. We'll pick them up. Probably not the best way to get your CDs out of the radio, but, you know, at least you can get them out. Sometimes those things get a little expensive. <laughs> yeah, that did, didn't work either. Those little bars right there, you can't move them hardly. cold in this shop this morning. I think it's 40 something degrees outside. Yeah, I'm trying to move the bars. And it, there's a lock mechanism in there somewhere. Probably got a solenoid hooked up to it. Probably when you power it up and the solenoid comes on and then moves all them little parts where you can where the motor turns the gear and moves all them arms and everything it's probably what went out on it but
most of the time the components don't go out on the circuit board and they usually last a long time. Every once in a while you get like uh, something in the factory that's got a cold solder joint or something like that. I can fix it that way. You just look for a lift like a pin lift up on the board. Alright, this is about the time I'm just like, ah, the heck with it. We're just going to push this stuff out of the way and start pulling these CDs out. <laughs> It's hard to look around the camera and then work on something, but I'm trying. <laughs> but I, I noticed the little pin in the middle of the CD about now, I think. Yeah. And I would like to say shame on the guys that laughed at my mother and told her good luck about getting them CDs out of her CD changer. <laughs> it just takes a little bit of effort. You can get them out. Might not have a CD changer when you're done, but you know, at least you can get your CDs out. And if you're not careful enough, you can scratch them on. So I'm trying to be as careful as I can when I shake one out. It came out unscratched. All of them came out unscratched, thank goodness. It looked like something got stuck in there before. There we go. We're just going to rip on into it. It's just a little piece of sheet metal. I mean, it ain't, ain't nothing to rip up. But if y'all enjoy seeing the massacre of a CD changer getting tore apart, <laughs> hit the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button. We do something a little different just about every day. Uh probably won't upload a video every day I might get to the point where I will everybody's going to give me some bad comments on this how could you tear that thing up <laughs> or you could have just did this but I just didn't do a lot of research on it I just wanted to get the CDs out guys Get it done and move on to something else. <laughs> yep, there's that little pin. A little shake. Here comes the next one. A little few fingerprints on there. I don't know if they're mine. Feel them suckers back. little shake that last one was definitely the hardest one it just because you had to go so deep inside there to get all them cds out just trying to rip some of that stuff out of the way so. and no cds were harm in the making of this video <laughs> Here's the next one. The middle ones came out a lot, lot quicker than the first or second one. I about dropped the camera. Right there. Oh my my. That's exactly right. Oh 
my mind, I'm stuck. Not for long, though. I'm going to get them out. There's other videos out there where you can get your CD out if, if it's like where you can eject it a little bit and it goes back in. Uh, unfortunately, in this case, it, it was no choice. You had to get in there and get them out. There's our last one. So that peeled all that metal back and it's just like didn't have much room, wiggle room in there. Still got it out without scratching it, so that's good. It took a long time to get these CDs out, but there we go. Victory. Victory is ours. <laughs> there she is, all nice and toasted up. Ready for the garbage can or a recycler. Got a lot of broken electronics. I'll probably end up recycling it. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. Have a good day.